Greetings fellow tank commanders, in this video I'm going to be showing you a game that I played with the T-34-88. This is a tier 6 Soviet premium medium tank with regular matchmaking and it can also train German crews. The game I'm playing is an encounter battle on Arctic region summer with tier 8 as the top tier and no artillery. For this game my tank is equipped with a gun rammer, enhanced gun laying drive, and binoculars. I am using a German crew which has two crew skills and perks. Keep in mind that those two skills are Supply Conservation and Mentor, so they really don't have any impact on this battle. To start off the game, I've gone to the middle of the map where I can safely work the ridgelines, the main priority being spotting out targets for my teammates, and I'm instantly rewarded by catching a streaking Centurion 1 out in the open, and wow, he took some big hits there. So I'm bottom tier with pretty much a brand new crew, and so I am not looking to get aggressive early in the game. And I've picked this location for a reason, because it's a short to medium distance range from all the enemies I'm going to be fighting here. So I know that every time I spot an enemy out, they're probably spotting me as well. When you have a crew that doesn't have sixth sense, you're using a crew trainer that doesn't have a lot of armor and your bottom tier. This is a good strategy to use because it essentially compensates for sixth sense. So this is the ideal kind of situation you're looking for to use that strategy. Because you're relying on cover rather than stealth to keep your tank alive. And since I'm bottom tier, I'm better off spotting out for my teammates which will have the better guns. Now typically with my new German crews, I train them up on the Panzer 38H which is a tier 2 with a crew XP multiplier, and I won't usually put them in a higher tier tank until I get 6 cents, but I was getting a little bored of the tier 2 battles, so I went with the T-3488, which is an amazing crew trainer, as long as you adjust your strategies a little bit. There wasn't a lot of action here, and my teammates were doing very well off to my right, so I saw an opportunity here to advance on a T-3485M, this is a pretty soft target compared to all the other tanks in the game, so I wanted to get up there and make sure I was taking advantage of my team's momentum. I get three easy shots here without even being in danger of getting hit, and he's only got a few hit points left now. I take an extra second here just to make sure my shot is fully aimed, but my CDC teammate drives right in front of me. I don't think that was intentional, but I was still pretty upset because I really wanted that kill. So now that my team has won that flank, we're going to push towards the enemy spawning area. I was surprised to still find three enemies over here, and they really weren't even ready for our assault, so we're all getting some pretty easy shots here. And it's great because I still get to be active, but I'm not putting myself in any real danger. I'm just focusing on working around my higher tier tanks here. I saw a shot come in from the left here and I don't want to get caught out in the open, but I don't really like the looks of that rock, especially with a 4-6 sitting right in front of us here. Looks like my snapshot just somehow bounced off the side of the 4-sig and I go for the ram. It wasn't a huge ram, but I still managed to deal 175 hit points to a top tier tank. Alright, now we've got a bit of a weird tactical situation here, because we have enemies at three different locations but all in one small area of the map. And I'm fighting at a long range now, which isn't great with my new crew. I take a pretty big hit here from an unspotted sniper, so I'm going to peek around the other side of the rock where the enemies are actually spotted. I'm switching to my APCR shells now because I'm chewing at a top tier heavy tank from the front. Even with some decent angles on him, I'm not able to get a pen, but it was worth it because I end up shooting an unspotted AT-7. That was just crazy luck right there. My teammates have been able to spot out the enemies that were sniping. I get some decent shot opportunities, but I was a little disappointed that I wasn't able to finish off that ISU-152. But at least I catch this IS heavy tank out in the open. He's tracked and must have already burned his repair kit earlier in the game. I'm a little unlucky here and I'm not able to finish this heavy tank off. That Tiger II has come back off to the left and spotted me out. And that's a pain to leave a heavy tank on such low hit points, but thankfully my teammates are able to finish him off. That's another lucky snipe there. I 
I managed to take the ISU 152 out, and that's an important kill for my team to help secure the victory. The T25AT appears to have fallen back, and so that leaves this Tiger II quite exposed over here, but I'm not fast enough to get a finishing shot. It looked like these enemies were starting to push over the ridge line, so instead of going around their rears, I just decided to come straight up the hill and get side shots instead. They ended up pulling back, so my plan didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. This enemy tank destroyer can't resist the opportunity to shoot at a tier 6 target. My shot goes through, but his hits the plane wreckage in front of me. I know I'm going to beat his reload, so I charge right over and make sure I get a nice clear shot to finish off the game. Now let's check the post game stats and see how I did. For this game I managed to earn 11,000 silver without any multipliers, remembering that I did run food. I fired quite a few APCR shells, and the T-3488 actually doesn't have a silver multiplier, because it gets a crew XP multiplier instead. I also earned 7,950 experience with the 2 times daily bonus and 750 from an off. I actually had a 6 times crew XP bonus activated here, and it got me somewhere between 30 and 40% on my brothers in arms skill. In this game I dealt 2,541 damage, assisted with 1,373 damage, and destroyed 5 enemies. This earned me a Mastery Batch Ace Tanker and a Levis Lejo Medal, which is for destroying at least two enemies that are two tiers higher. I narrowly missed out on a few opportunities there to get a top gun, but still a really great game. I placed at the top of my team, earning a base XP of 1920. I managed to hit 21 of my 22 shots and penetrate 14 of those. I'm very happy with that reliability for being bottom tier. In terms of crew and module damage, I destroyed the engine in the SU-100, damaged the engine in the AT-7, and injured the driver in the T-25AT. Well that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing that game with the T-3488, and that'll help you play that style of tank while training up a new crew. Stay tuned for more awesome World of Tanks videos.